Hello everyone, welcome back to Morrowind. Today, we're going to be completely changing the entire economy. Specifically, our job today is going to be to go to House, to Aldrun and House Rhetoret, is there something and convince the counselors, House Rhetoret, to, you. to vote to, A essentially, to break the Mages Guild Monopoly. It's only officially they can sell spells and magic items and all those other things that are kind of useful and kind of valuable. Apparently, due to internal house politicking, House Hlau is also on this, so all three great houses are working together on this, which is quite interesting. This is clearly going to have some very far-reaching consequences, and will be very interesting to see. Oh, I wish it was. <sighs> Unfortunately, despite the fact that breaking a monopoly should have absolutely fucking insane results, like, I don't even know how to describe it. Nothing happens. My time is precious, so make it quick. Actually, I should, probably should have all the but yeah, nothing happens. This great big important thing that really should be, you know, practically change the entire damn economy simply because of how important magic can be? Eh, it's just a quest. We can't let quests change things. Then my decisions might matter. Bah. Anyway. My old amounts of bitching aside. You remember that scroll I found? The Millen From scroll. Turns out if you don't kill that lady that got the guy in Odinner on was creepy about. Seriously. Seriously, dude. Ew. <laughs> he will give you a bunch of these. It's the only source besides that one on the table of them in the game. Thankfully, there are other scrolls with summoning day draws, but yeah. It's a little annoying. Ah. Thankfully, Omsavi takes you right to Aldrin from here. So what we need to do is talk to Serethi, Athens Serethi. So you're probably wondering, how the hell do I find Athens Serethi in, in the Manor District? Well, it's pretty easy. It's not the council, no, it's just Serethi Manor. It is kind of cool, this is literally the inside of a giant crab, though. And it's not like just a design choice on the part of the makers of this place or anything, no. They kill the giant crab this big... Uh, what hole did you crawl out of? And I do mean they killed it. And, uh, well... What hole did you crawl out of? They decided, hey, this looks like a great place to live. Hollowed it out, and yeah. Uh, can I admire you into... Wow. Apparently I just tried to flirt with her really badly, because she lost 22 points of disposition towards me when I tried to admire her. I want to see what's in here, out of curiosity. A storeroom, a bed, a chest with some gold. Thankfully, no one can see me, so that doesn't count as stealing. Back to close the door, just to make very sure. Also, they're kind of dicks to me, and they'll never know about it, so. I have no ethical qualms here. I am probably a terrible person. Oh well. Cheap fortified endurance. Not even worth taking, honestly. Actually, is that a bit of the good? Nope, that's just a decent one. The lamps I really want are either the pilgrim's lamps or the other higher quality ones. If All right. you'll excuse me, what I don't have time for you right now. Or ever. 
I do not trust you. I don't even like you. Why should I listen to you? Fair enough. Now, something to note, your bribes actually do get more effective the higher your personality and speechcraft are. So let's equip Moon and Star! For supernaturally effective talkiness. Personality is now 35, and my speechcraft is now... 21. I am slightly less incompetent, and now he likes me at 30. I just got two points more from putting on a ring. Alright, will you train me in things? Faction members only. Okay. Wow. Okay, no more trying to do admiring. I'm just going to bribe you. Yep. Ah. Yeah, Red Orin does have a bit of an issue. Their leader is very, very, very strong. You run into this if I want if I want to be made Hortator. In fact, I should probably do some Hortatoring around here. For a few of the people, of course. Yep. Just in fair D-Lanes. Pretty much. They try to be honorable paladin types. And unfortunately, their leader is basically the I'm big and strong, therefore I'm right type. Ah, this. Yeah, I forgot it. Goodbye. I don't want to do Horty Torin, but yeah, we have to rescue his son from Venom Manor. We don't want to go to Venom Manor, though. No, we just need to convince a few other of the counselors via ta either admiring them, haha, -ha, no, or via what the old happened? method of shiny things. What happened? Of course, I will search their houses first on the grounds of I like shiny things. And that sometimes there are books. Books can often mean loot. This chest has nothing in it, but there's gold on top of it, so I'll take the gold. Because stealing from people who you want to convince to like you is a very good idea. No, do not apply that in actual people with actual people. You will likely get punched. At best. It's not actually a good idea. A Gwarskin drum is here, so you know. Corpusarium, if you want it. You get the point. Also, if you hover over an item and it doesn't show off, just hit escape and then hit escape again. Just opening that menu fixes it. It's just a minor interface bug. And it's very easy to fix, so... Maybe you should not. You guys should know. I think I may have mentioned it earlier, but what the heck. Maybe your brain just skipped over it. I know I my brain skips over a lot of things I listen to, despite the fact that it really shouldn't. The human brain is an incredibly complex and very flexible object bit of work, but it has its issues. Looks like this this place mostly just has clothes and food. Well, I could sell the clothes. Clothes are actually not too valuable for weight right now to me. What's it here? Where is that slave? The private quarters. Oh my. Miss you have most of a suit of Dwemer armor. You're probably important. I'm waiting. As are you. I wonder if there's a quest that involves me fighting these guys, because they're fairly heavily armored. Okay, clothing, clothing. Food, I'm all certain, and cl Booze, not clothing. any locked areas. It's locked areas are generally where they're keeping cool things. In Lives of the Saints, I was hoping for a skill book. That was not a skill book. I can tell by the value. I do like how books that teach you things are co coincidentally more valuable. It's a useful way to tell them apart so you don't have to remember, did I read this already or not? Nothing there. 
Let's go down deeper and not talk to the people I'm probably supposed to talk to. Uh. What now? The Red Book will tell me about all the Red Urn counselors, but now I can't steal from here because there's someone here. Also, we wanted this for a quest a while back, so if you don't want. So if you're a cheapskate, just buy, grab Anic Distance of Dwemer Law off of here. Uh, uh, you may want to reconsider that, ma'am. He managed to get a date with Prince pissed at him, and therefore I murdered his face off for shiny things. Thankfully, he was an unethical little turd anyway. Ooh, gold. Yep, I still have Journeyman's lock picks. I just want to check that in case I needed to reassign my picks. So I explore the whole place. Let's actually see if talking to people is the right Quickly, option. Quickly, Outlander, or go away. Now, you're probably thinking that you have to do some great task or something here. Nope. Show him that you are fair with shiny things. Yeah, the other houses don't like the Telvani, but they'll but they need? don't but none of the houses like each other, honestly. Basically, what we're just looking for is being able to go space Make it quick, and see appeal to fairness up here. Yeah, yeah, false incarnate, blah, blah, blah. I'm certain I'm so evil. But honestly, according to their religion, I'm like the Antichrist. Like, an Antichrist, because there's a bunch of false incarnates, and. But I'm not one of them! Probably. Situation's a bit complicated. There's a lot of questions that I really would I love to discuss with you guys. Busy. I really, really would. But there's one thing that we need to get done. And that will unlock so many things that I can discuss. I will be so happy when it is there. It's locked behind, however, the Horde Tor quest line and the Naravarine quest line, otherwise known as the fourth and fifth trials. Which makes me very sad, because I want to talk about it. There is so much cool stuff! <laughs> fourth and fifth trials, after that is where the really cool things start happening, and I can't discuss them! This better be important. Uh... Fortunately, there's someone in this room, so I can't check what loot it has properly. There's someone in this room, too! Yeah, people, stop being in your rooms! I want to steal all your stuff! No, that's probably not a very convincing argument now that I say it out loud! Oh. It's an interesting loop around. I'm not sure what the point is, but it's interesting nonetheless. Appeal to fairness. Yep, this is the guy you want to talk to, Garissa Lilethry. Uh, what now? You could look up the red book that I found earlier to find, you know, all the people you want to deal Make with. It quick, red guy. But eh, Lethry Manor intro. Okay. Make it quick, red guy. Is there anyone past here? Can I loot this place without, e without getting a bounty? This appears to be their food stocks. Uh, I didn't want that. I actually did not want that. I just clicked and, uh, oops. Blue clay pot, go back. I think I just found their pantry. Yeah, I found their pantry. Let's find some slowed soap or something, and I'm not taking it. I know I'm looking over the hack low, and I have gone on about how valuable that is, but eh. With the Mages Guild now disliking me due to being a Telvani, selling alchemical ingredients is quite a bit less lucrative. 
Right around cooking secrets! I want to read this! Those are actual cooking recipes! They made recipes for completely fictional things, and... When I read of that, I read very fast. I didn't read it out loud because it isn't really relevant, but it's cool. <laughs> Those Make were actually cool. decently sensible cooking recipes. Like... <sighs> it is clear you don't truly understand House Redern. Here, get, I will give you money! <laughs> I've got better things to do, so... We are honorable and just! Here, money! Okay, we are convinced to support you. Lauren Remarin and Garisa Lelethri. I should actually probably get uh, Serethi to do that, too. So I don't think I did. He just gave what me advice on how to do it. Herpaderp! Maybe I can't do it with him. I actually don't remember if he can be turned or not. Well, not turned, because, you know, that implies treachery and betrayal and sneaky backstabbery. Well, I'm just going, Oi! Money! And throwing it at their heads. Go ahead, Outlander. What do you need? So you have agreed to overturn it. Means Ramarin, Lilethri, and this guy have agreed to overturn it. All to have three veteran counselors. Yeah. I feel Hello. Like I know you. Uh, does he not count? Not fair. Not fair. All right. By the way, to give you remember how I mentioned that uh, the guy in charge, currently in charge of House Redoran, is badass. Here's how badass he is: full suit of ebony armor. Yep. Make it quick, Red God. Okay, why does Arabar Manor keep showing up as a topic? I'm going to bribe this guy until he'll talk to me about it. You're it. Let's hear it. You Make absolute whatic. Where's the actual important people here? What outlander? Make it quite I mean, there's some trauma root and black anther up here, I guess, but is it past the guard quarters? Like, what going on? I have to find out the counselor of Arrowbar. What? So I can bribe him into doing whatever I want. Why won't you show me where your counselor is so I can throw money at him? Also, holy book there. Don't really care. Chest. Locked. That means security training. Wow. Just, wow. The ch the ch you think the stuff in the locked area would be, you know... More valuable than the stuff left lying around, not less. And again, with the, the chest has less valuable stuff than the actual lying around trap. 
How does that make sense? Is there like a bit of double think there? Are they planning on stupid thieves? Ooh, there's gold in the shelf. Give me. I may not be robbing them blind, but I'm still robbing them. And I don't want to get have to fight an entire house. That would be messy. Sermon 20. Do I have Sermon 20? One, ten, twelve, fifteen, sixteen. No, I don't. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Gimme that too. Nice find. Yeah, I wonder why they don't trust House Telvani. Just can't imagine why. Uh, cop again with the leaving cop extravagant clothes out and having common clothes in the chest. Is there, there has to be something going on there. I'm sorry, that's just weird. I just can't understand why they do that. Like, did the devs just mess up the drop tables? I have to go through the guard corps to get the private quarters here. Okay. Confusing as fuck, but okay. Erebor Manor bedrooms! Another place to search after I'm done with this. A fork, some scuttle, some eggs. That's not a fork, that's a knife. How did I mix up a fork and a knife? I are smart. S-M-R-T smart. This looks like it's a cleaner's room going by the broom in the corner. Like the maid's room and shit. Okay, what is this? This is Anecdescence of Dwemer Law. There's a lot of those. Brief History of the Empire, 1 through 4. Actually, a pretty good read for background. If you want to learn something about Marwan dead quick, you just go find one of the places that has a bunch of those lying around, or any bookstore, really. And read them. Apparently all bookstores in Morrowind are like libraries. They leave their books around and you can read them forever, but you can't actually check them out without paying cash. You check them out forever, though. Come on, come on. I want to find the guy who I can actually, you know, bribe into doing what I want. What, Outlander? Wooden door, wooden door. This better be important. You look important. Make you have big pauldrons. Well, aren't you eloquent for someone who claims to be, you know? <laughs> Basically, you say he doesn't believe me. This man is very, very, very long-winded. It's kind of amusing, honestly. Will appeal to fairness to do this? <laughs> this man talks a lot. He doesn't shut up. Why? Unless you talk to him about Solstheim. Because everyone thinks Solstheim is a terrible place. Everyone. Seriously, it's weird. I know why it happens, but it's still weird. By the way, that's what you want to read if you want to just know where the counselors are and their names. You don't just want to wander around and have fun. You fun killer. <laughs> Seriously though, do whatever you want in this game. I will not complain. Ah, the Red Red Master Helm. That's actually a pretty good bit of medium armor. Not as good as Indoril, but as it's the Master Helm, it's actually pretty damn Speed good. Traveler. I just forced the guard out of the way by opening the door. Can't loot this place, but there might at least be a book to read. Wow, that's three chests. Okay, I'm gonna save to see if they can actually see me, because one of those chests is very valuable. At least it's very well locked.
Now let's see what's in there on the grounds of curiosity. Open the damn chest! Skooma! What the F is Boethia's pillow book? No word! <laughs> I think I know what that is! I think I just found bored! I think I just found bored! <laughs> people that should be enough the left three rapperin and Gressy, if this isn't enough I'm going to be kind of bitch bitchy about it frankly <laughs> let's get back to you I feel as though I should know you yep you get a magical glove it's actually not very useful but it is a very long command duration so if you can use it it's pretty decent what other chores do you have? Okay, Fames, Andres, and Shishi. Haven't I been to Shishi? Vlothy Tower in the middle. In middle? In the middle! Someone didn't check all their dialogue! Of the Foyada Bani Dad, northwest of Margon. Uh. I think I remember this, and I think I remember killing the person in the hidden space, so. Awkward! Is that a book on top of there? Yes, it was. Pala, book one, and Pala, book two. I hadn't noticed those before, but apparently I've read them both. They are skill books. It's pretty useful. And I need to get to Margon and uh, feel very awkward when I get to Shishi. Cool, Genesis, or Shockaloo, Narmok, Hlomarin, Shinobi. Where the hell was Margon? Margon! Well, obviously you'll take me to Aldrune, and that's close enough, I suppose. <laughs> Into my spear, because I want to train that skill up, because it's better, because at least it gets me skill training. It may not be for a useful skill, but what the hell? Also, yeah, you can climb on top of this. It actually looks pretty interesting, frankly. I'm on top of the world looking. No, no, no. Ow! Fuck you! <laughs> Alright, because I don't want anything to break from stupid bloody cliff racers. They're stupid bloody clipping. Alright. Music's over. <laughs> and my good mood is over too, because fucking cliff racers. Now, is there a silk spider to Margon? Should probably check that before climbing up here, but what the heck, it was fun. Also, I'm still too big to Santa. Why cannot? Why can I not Santa the chimneys? I have fire resistance. If there's a chim, if there's a fire on, will this be mildly singed? I regularly get shot by flame atronox, and it doesn't kill me. Can you get me to Margon? Yes, you can. Why walk when you can run? Northwest of Margon. North, east, south, west. So, northwest of Margon is around here. 
Oh, I think I did... Maybe I haven't screwed up this quest then. Because one of the things I did with the reset was that I used the console to do a lot of it. So I used the center on cell command to, instead of actually walking around a lot. So I don't think I actually went to Shishi in this timeline, I guess, would be the best way to put it. So I may have not screwed up this quest! Yay! Alright, let's get a walk, ladies and gentlemen. I remember the two bands down here. I wonder if their loot respawned. Nope. 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 Dramatic music probably means there's a cliff racer. I'll know when it hits me. Uh... If there is an ever an enemy deserving of more hatred in the Elder Scrolls series than fucking cliff racers, I have yet to meet it. And I pray I never do. Whatever deity of your choice. Because fuck cliff racers. This is like an alternate route almost. It looks like it goes, yeah, I don't want to go to Kogarun. I've been there. It was the sixth house base. And, oh, hello bandits. Probable bandits at least. Die, 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 die. You know, when you don't even have a chest plate, trying to attack a guy in full armor is probably a bad idea. It's really sad that none of the other Scrolls games that I know of have a mechanic that basically has the bandits go. We can't take you! Because that'd be a nice detail, them going... This guy's done basically everything. Run away! <laughs> Here is hoping to dispose of that corpse uh, via it having no hide. I mean, all of them technically should have hide, but I guess it's just parts that are intact enough after the battle. Like in the fluff. Be interesting to try and write about that, but eh. Cliff Racer, can I sneak up on it? No, I could not. Also, they attack you with your tails because they're like flying manta rays. So I suppose you could consider this a very convoluted form of vengeance for Steve Irwin? <laughs> but yeah. Looks like we didn't actually go into Shishi in this one. So let's save! Also, if it's in all caps, just tap shift once. It's not your caps lock, but it could be your caps lock, so you should check that too. Seligil, dead. Indrel, dead. Amring, dead. This chest may as well be dead, because that's a pretty useless item to me. Glass lanterns are decent torch equivalents. Lanterns never go out, as far as I'm aware. However, most of them don't generate as much light as a torch. You'll have to look up which ones do. You in You are actually decently badass. Also, you 
may have noticed that I was getting little purple sparks when she hit me sometimes. That means my reflect is going off when she hits me. You I mean, yeah, I could probably end this faster if I was using my actual sword, but hey. Get some die already. Thank you. You are decently badass. I understand why they went, sent you off to go hunt wizards, but yep. Two-handed steel blade, and they are poisoning themselves. <laughs> well, they weren't poisoning themselves on purpose. Don't get me wrong. So now I think about it, I should probably be using my restoration spells instead of just, uh... Just, well... <laughs> spammy enchanted items. I should also get... My, uh... Your wounds are great! <clears throat> you can Looks like the one downstairs is the most dangerous one. I wonder if I'll break your shield by stabbing you so much. You seem to see blocking. It takes me this long to remember that no, I have not in fact restored my stockpile of armor's hammers. Well, I can do that in between episodes next time. You have a Shishi report and an Amulet of Mighty Blows. Amulet of Mighty Blows is a decent magic item. Let's read the Shishi report. Five Tilvani sorcerers fell, and the tower is now ours, but we have suffered heavy losses. Right now, I have a 61% chance of succeeding at restoring my health. For the exact same value as the Mother's Ring. It's probably why it's called the Mother's Ring, and this is called Mother's Kiss. No, I don't think getting kissed by your mother actually restores your health in this setting. I don't think it's that weird. Well, there's the first failure. Oh, well. Not enough magic help, but I think I have enough to take this guy one man on. have to play by the same rules you do, so if they have low skill in their sword stat, or low agility, they have trouble hitting you too. Also get a glass frost sword, I'm gonna take that because I have been running a bit low on money after my gigantic lump of training. I'll loot the rest of this place though. Cause honestly, after the last playthrough I sort of dumped Shishi out of my brain. There's only so much I can remember at a time. Well, actively remember. No, that's bloat. I don't want bloat. Bloat is pretty shit. It'll just bloat my inventory. Shut up. I'm fucking. <laughs> the Pig Children. What a lovely title for orcs. The Alchemist's formula is actually pretty useful. I do like the Breton Skull. It's a nice detail. Telvani Bug Musk. That's pretty good. I'm not sure what it's made of, though. I know there's a way to find out what it's made of. Like, there's someone you can talk to and you can, and they'll tell you, Tavani Bug Musk is made of XYZ. Mm -hmm. You know, let's rest until healed. Because last time I did this, I got attacked by the sorcerer down there. So I may have been driven mad by captivity or something, I guess? Is I guess there so. Something I can do for you? You have things I want. I'm going to talk to you. Uh, Shishi! Some books. Yeah, I killed the rest of them. The Lunar Lorkhan and a Hypothetical Treachery. I think I've read the Hypothetical Treachery already, but the Lunar Lorkhan could be interesting. Lunar Lorkhan is an alteration skill. 
I think I'm gonna keep this around, because that's pretty interesting. What does a hypothetical treachery do? I don't remember what skill it's for. Let's find out. Destruction! Not bad. You, actually, those are cruel flame stars. I don't think it's worth trying to piss you off. Sorry, dude. All right, then. Let's activate recall. Get back to Master Arya. This land suits you. We welcome you freely, Outlander. I got the Silver Staff of War. Which also has a pretty decent blunt weapon, I can lie. All three elements on hit for 5 to 11 points is a pretty nasty enchantment. That's 15 to 33 points of damage on top of 3 to 7 you'll be dealing with the slash. But I don't want it, so I'm leaving it on your desk. The fact that you don't care is mildly amuses me. I need to advance, which means I need skills. And I said I would do skill training off screen, so unless you guys really object, I'm going to do that. One moment, repairing. So it looks like this is going to be a bit of a shorter video than usual, unless my sense of time has messed up, because I didn't actually remember to look at the clock. Is there something you need? <sighs> yeah, I need to have a... One of those skills at 50, and one, and two of those skills at 15. Right now, my highest magical skill is enchanting at 40. Which is decent! <laughs> yeah, you actually have to do that. It's, it'd be easiest for me to let go into House Redoran, but I can't do that, because once... Because unless... Absent bugs... Yes, and yes, there is a way to bug it out. You can only draw in one house at a time, and the only two house combination is Halau and Telvani. you find me worthy of your attention. So next time, I'll be returning with a lot more armors, hammers in my inventory. A bit of a lighter inventory from selling some things off. Some more, and quite a bit less coin. And probably a Go few ahead, levels Alan. under my belt. What do you need? <sighs> I'm training my magical skills. It is going to be very, very boring to watch, needless to say. So I think we'll leave it off here. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please leave them in the th either in the comments section below, or in the threads in Space Battle, on Space Battles, and Sufficient Velocity. What did my head just do? on the threads that are linked in the description of the video. Oh, my head is trying to follow that guy who's walking around. Okay, that's kind of cool. I didn't know it did that. And my gauntlets clip through the bits, edges of my robe, and I think the back of my robe is also clipping with my armor. <coughs> Goodbye, everyone.